and the class of 2014 graduates. Good evening and welcome. I am Dr. Rita Tolliver Roberts, Vice President of Academic Advancement, and will serve as presiding officer for this evening's ceremony. I now call to order our historic 149th commencement exercises. Please remain standing and join me in a moment of silent reflection as we count our blessings and begin this special occasion. Kindly remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by Renee Martin. Renee is majoring in business administration with a concentration in management. <laughs> oh, say can you What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Congratulations, class of 2014. Please be seated. Consistent with the mission created by our founder, Thomas May Pierce, back in 1865, Pierce College is in the business of transforming lives. We do so by making the benefits of higher education accessible and attainable to non-traditional students of all ages and backgrounds. Pierce, a primarily baccalaureate institution, serves over 2,800 students annually with undergraduate degree programs in accounting, business administration, criminal justice, general studies, Health Information Technology, Health Information Administration, Health Care Administration, Human Resource Management, Information Technology, Integrated Leadership, and Paralegal Studies. In fall 2013, the college offered its first graduate degree program a Master of Science in Organizational Leadership and Management. As a testament to our quality, Pierce possesses institutional and program accreditations. 
the Pierce College graduating class of 2014 is 342 members strong. There are five inaugural graduates in our new Associate in Science in Criminal Justice Studies program, four inaugural graduates in our new Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Management program. We have 16 accounting graduates, 161 business administration graduates, 5 healthcare administration graduates, 12 health information technology graduates, 12 general studies graduates, 51 information technology graduates, and 76 paralegal studies graduates on this historic evening. We are pleased to report that many members of this evening's graduating class received significant support from their employers. The list of organizations is too long to mention individually, but kindly recognize them with a round of applause. Let's give a shout out in special recognition to all of the women and men who serve in our military. Thank you for your service. Allow me a few moments to introduce some very special people. An institution depends on its board of trustees for guidance and support. Their titles and affiliations are listed in the commencement program. Trustees, please stand when I call your name. Those attending this evening are Katie Thoreau, board chair, <laughs> William H. Morgan, class of 87, Board Co-Vice Chair, Mark Amaturo, Joseph Barstas, Lynette Black, Stephanie Boyd, Peter Caputo, Lisa Curran, Dr. Al Denson, Mark Edwards, Tom Karinchak, Catherine McCluskey, Martin Merman, Barbara Kretzman, Scott Smith, class of 76, Lisa Walker, and newly elected today as trustee, Robert Grasso. Also attending this evening is former board chair, Lamar Brock. Please recognize with your applause current and former members of the Pierce College Board of Trustees. The reputation of an institution is built on the quality of its programs, services, and graduates. The overseers of that quality are the expert faculty, staff, and administration of the college. Would you now please recognize the Pierce College faculty, staff, and administration. There is another special group to be introduced. Without them, this historic evening would not be possible. Would you please stand and be recognized, the family and friends of the class of 2014.
please now welcome our president and CEO, James J. Mergiati, who will deliver a salute to the class of 2014. Good evening, everyone. Before I begin my salute to the graduates, I too would like to pay tribute to the family and friends of the class of 2014. Thank you for the love and support you've provided throughout the lives of these graduates. The grads are getting a diploma this evening, but you've given them something even greater. That something is a lasting memory that you were there for them tonight and on many other days and nights throughout this journey. I extend my warmest appreciation for all you've done to help this graduating class fulfill its dreams. One of the things I enjoy most in life is being in the presence of high achievers, people who beat the odds and overcome obstacles to find success. The Pierce College Class of 2014, which we honor this evening, is a perfect example of a high achieving group. By attaining their degrees, this class has overcome enormous odds. This class is comprised primarily of what we call in higher education non-traditional students. That means they are young at heart, but older in age than typical college students. They carry significant personal and professional responsibilities. They don't have the luxury of parents paying their tuition bills, or any bills for that matter. <laughs> and as adults, they often must contribute their time, talents, and resources to their communities. While dealing with family, work, and community obligations, they had to attend class, read, study, perform research, write papers, do, <laughs> do homework assignments, and work on group projects <laughs> to get here this evening. Most non-traditional college students who start degree programs never finish them. Class of 2014, you are not among them. Congratulations, you have beaten the odds. Many members of the class of 2014 have also overcome significant obstacles and unusual circumstances to achieve their degrees. While I would like very much to speak about all of them individually this evening, Time restrictions only allow me to feature the following examples. The first is Alice Yellick. <laughs> Alice is graduating this evening with a bachelor's degree in business administration. Alice graduated from West Catholic High School in 1966. She married in 1967 raised two children, and had a successful career for 30 plus years. In 2008, the law firm which employed her for 18 of those years suddenly closed without warning. She realized that even though she possessed outstanding technical skills, she needed a college degree to compete. She moved forward and earned an associate degree from the Community College of Philadelphia in 2011 and completed a bachelor's degree at Pierce in December 2013. Today, she's employed as a paralegal working for the federal government. Alice's story speaks to her drive and determination and her mantra 
that it is never too late. Next is Nona Marie Smith. who is graduating with a bachelor's degree in business administration. Nona Marie is a water treatment plant operator for the city of Philadelphia. She graduated from high school 30 years ago. She always wanted a college degree. Her job requires mandatory overtime with little notice and shift changes every seven days which made attending class and completing homework very challenging at times. However, with the support of family, Nona Marie completed her bachelor's degree in three years. Congratulations, Nona Marie. Laverne B. Allen. earned her bachelor's degree in accounting while working full-time at the Community College of Philadelphia and being very active in her community. She is a leader of recreation center and public school volunteers and involved in a women's fellowship she founded at her church. She feeds the needy and homeless and helps senior citizens complete tax returns and rent rebate forms. Thank you for your volunteerism, Laverne, and congratulations on earning your degree. Ray Goldsboro. Ray graduates this evening with a bachelor's degree in business administration. She attended class at Pierce in 1981, but did not complete her program at that time. She promised her parents who passed away in the early 1990s, that she would return and earn a college degree. She raised her children first, and then took the time to supplement the experience gained from a 25-year banking career with a bachelor's degree. This evening is a very special one for Ray. In addition to receiving her diploma and fulfilling her promise, she is also the proud parent of a graduate her daughter, Sheila, is also a member of the class of 2014. <laughs> Sheila will receive her associate degree in paralegal studies this evening. This evening is also a very special one for Michelle Reynolds. She is receiving an associate degree in criminal justice and her mother, Denise Reynolds, is receiving a bachelor's degree in accounting. The class of 2014 has two husband and wife pairs receiving their degrees this evening. Anthony and Natasha Williams. and Kenneth and Takiya Burns. I would like to note that Anthony Williams completed much of his coursework online while deployed in Kuwait. Please join me in thanking Anthony and the other veterans in the class of 2014 for their service. Pierce is a welcoming place for students of all ages. The average age of the class of 2014 is 36 years young. The youngest member of the class is Tarika Adams, who just turned 21 years young last October. At Pierce, though, we believe in lifelong learning. Graduating this evening at the age of 67 years young 
is Kenneth DeWitt. <laughs> Ken is truly a lifelong learner. The graduates featured are representative of this outstanding class of achievers we are honoring this evening. While it's impossible to speak about all of the members individually, suffice it to say that we are proud of each and every one of them who have successfully completed this journey. Class of 2014, as you start a new journey, please know that Pierce is your partner for life and will provide continuing support throughout your careers. Graduates, on behalf of the entire Pierce community, I salute you for working so hard, beating the odds, overcoming obstacles, and making your dreams come true. All my best wishes are with you this evening and always. You will forever be held in my highest regard. Thank you. Good evening. I am Stephanie Donovan, Assistant Professor and Faculty Chair, Health Programs. I'm delighted to introduce our student speaker, one of your fellow graduates, Ms. Caitlin Cease, who is graduating this evening with a Bachelor of Science degree in Healthcare Administration, having earned a 3.6 GPA. Kate currently serves as a human resource coordinator for Youth Consultation Services, which is the largest behavioral health agency in New Jersey. As a human resource coordinator, Kate is responsible for recruiting, hiring, and training new employees for residential group homes within the South Jersey area. Kate is hopeful her degree will afford her an opportunity to obtain a management position at her current place of employment. One of her future goals is to obtain a master's degree. In addition to working full-time, Kate is mother to Michaela, her 12-year-old daughter who is attending the ceremony this evening. Please welcome Caitlin Cease. Good evening, honored guests, faculty and staff, board members, proud parents, family, and friends. We are gathered here tonight to recognize and to celebrate the graduates that are seated before you. Hello, my fellow 2014 Pierce College graduates. Welcome to the time of your life. Once upon a time, I sat in a stuffy gymnasium at my high school graduation, listening to our student commencement speaker. I secretly thought to myself, I wish that was me. How could it be, though? I attended three different high schools and became a mother at the tender age of 17. Life then was very different for me. It was slightly more challenging in comparison to other graduates. I quickly remembered why I couldn't be on that stage. In that moment, I felt that my obstacles were bigger than me. Sadly enough, I also felt like I could never earn the tremendous honor of addressing my graduating class. How could I? Even if I wanted to excel, I was always too pressed for time. I perceived certain goals to be unattainable due to this fight against time, and because of this, I carried what felt like a planetary chip on my shoulders. It was all about timing for me. You see, back then, a typical accomplishment was completing the bare minimum. I skimmed all the surfaces in every facet of my life. I was always in a rush. I had this miscalculated concept of time that was directly correlated to the hardships in my life. But regardless of my wishful thoughts, biological clock, and internal deficits, 
I was still happy at that graduation. I had a beautiful, then, one-year-old daughter who looked on from the stands and my entire life ahead of me. So I thought to myself, Kate, better luck next time. Now, let's fast forward the clock 11 years. It's not so much wishful thinking anymore. Oh, how time flies. But it's better late than never. In keeping with this theme of time, my friends, time is something we all have in common. Timetables, timelines. We tell time, we keep time, we lose track of time. We even shut down the concept of time temporarily as we beat the snooze button to a pulp every morning. Yes, you. And let's not forget, time is money, coined by Uncle Big Ben Franklin himself and further popularized by P. Diddy. And I quote, it's all about the Benjamins, baby. <laughs> As time is correlated to our livelihoods. If you're laughing, which you obviously are, you are most likely agreeing to having shared these very same sentiments regarding time. We are in an environment where timing is everything. I first enrolled to Pierce College after learning that I would be at the Community College of Philadelphia for the next six years. Their class offerings simply did not work for my lifestyle, and time was, of course, of the essence. You see, colleges and universities reach students in different ways, but in every way, Pierce College made time accessible for us all. This school has created an atmosphere that makes education attainable for high school graduates and working adults alike. As a result, Pierce College has changed my perception of time. It has come to show me that time is actually on my side. And for this, I am eternally grateful. On behalf of my fellow graduates, I want to take this opportunity to thank our family and friends for your undying support, and for loving us despite the mood swings during midterms and finals. <laughs> to the Pierce College staff, mentors, professors, tutors, and academic advisors, you have been our rock. Our time here at Pierce would not have been the same without your continued support, guidance, and devotion. Despite all the inevitable all-nighters, 11.59 p.m. deadlines, <laughs> yes, carpal tunnel, a anxiety, a.k.a. statistics, but I digress. <laughs> a good time was had by all. So here we are. No matter our backgrounds, our history, we are just in time for this accomplishment. Because it is not about how we start, it is about how we finish. <laughs> Class of 2014, my message to you is this. We share these sometimes negative commonalities of time, as time can sometimes swallow us whole. Though our roads are rocky and our obstacles may sometimes be frequent, do not let it defeat you. Instead of going against the grain of time, move with it. Take your time. Allow time to challenge you and change you in the greatest, most unexpected ways. Allow time to keep pace, but set your own directions. Forget the pressures that sometimes time sets on us. I say all this because to some, graduation is considered an ending. Although that is true, as your humbled yet honored commencement speaker, I feel obliged to also remind you that this is only the beginning. This is a mere moment in your timeline of many more beginnings. A fraction of the time you will spend achieving. So please, if you take nothing else from this, 
Remember that life is cumulative, and to devalue any experience is simply a waste of time. Instead, dream bigger, do better, and accomplish even greater. Because until our time is up, let us remain timeless, as there is no time like the present. Thank you. I think we can do better than that. Come on, class. That's one of our own, 2014. That was beautiful. Hello. Again. I am Kevin Drayton. I am pleased and honored to introduce our keynote speaker for this evening, Miss Charmaine Madlock Turner. Ms. Matlock Turner is the president and CEO of the Urban Affairs Coalition. She began her tenure at the coalition in March of, two, of 1999 with a special distinction as the first woman to lead in the organization's 44-year history. That's right, that deserves. The Urban Affairs Coalition, formerly GPUAC, unites government, business, neighborhoods, and individual initiatives to improve the quality of life in the region. In partnership with a diverse board of directors made up of business, nonprofit, and community leaders, Ms. Madlock Turner and her team of managers and more than 400 employees forged partnerships and built consensus to help families reduce poverty and reach the middle class. The organization's efforts are focused in four areas, improving life changes for youth and young adults, building wealth in low-income communities, strengthening the grassroots nonprofit sector, and forging strategic partnerships across sectors and communities. Ms. Matlock Turner holds a BS degree in education from Temple University in 2005 she was one of three, that's right, three Philadelphia nonprofit leaders selected to receive a scholarship to the Harvard Business School Nonprofit Leaders Summer Program. I hope they excuse me, but you go, girl. Throughout her life, Ms. Manlock Turner has worked tirelessly to strengthen Philadelphia's youth and young adult population by helping low-income families reach the resources they need to gain an education and career training. Through her many diverse initiatives, Ms. Manlock Turner serves as a great model for the graduating class of 2014. Please welcome Charmaine Madlock Turner. Good evening. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Kevin, thank you for your kind introduction and congratulations to you for all that you've achieved. It's great being here tonight 
And I want to thank you for choosing me to speak at Pierce's 149th graduation ceremony and for the wonderful honor of receiving a doctorate. I am really excited. I have to admit it, though, it's a little daunting to know that I am a member of a long line of speakers that have had the opportunity to address Pierce's graduates over the decades, including business and civic leaders and even presidents of the United States. I want to thank Jim Mergiati, your board of trustees, chaired by Katie Thoreau, Dr. Reeder Tolliver Roberts, Vice President for Academic Achievement, who kept sending me emails every day to make sure that I was going to be here and knew what I was supposed to do. My good friend, Uva Coles, who's the Vice President of Student Services, as well as all of the great administrators, faculty, and staff here at Pierce College. I had the wonderful opportunity recently to have lunch with students and soon-to-be graduates, including Caitlin Cease, who you just heard from, who did a terrific job speaking on behalf of the class. I also spoke with more than 10 Urban Affairs Coalition employees and interns who are attending Pierce or who are Pierce graduates including that I see back there on the row my own Velvia Gary, who is receiving her associate's degree in business management tonight and who has done a terrific job working with me in my office for the last two years. The student praise for the faculty and staff was effusive. Comments like, everyone was helpful, honest, they want you to succeed and they will track you down if they have not heard from you. One student said, and I quote, the staff at Pierce made it impossible for me to fail. I also have to give special thanks to, Justin, to Dr. Justin Baker and his staff at the Walker Center. To a student, everyone talked about the miracles that are performed there. No problem is too big or too small. If you want to find the right class or work through a personal issue, they will help you find the answer. So to the Pierce faculty and staff, I can only say to you what the stu student said to me, Pierce is awesome. You all look terrific out there tonight. You really do. You guys look great. And I listened to Jim's comments, so I know for some of you, this journey has only taken a few years. But for others, it's been more than a decade. And I want to congratulate you for hanging in there and making sure that you got to today. I also want to say hello, as the other speakers have, and thank your loved ones and family members who are here tonight. I am sure that they were a tremendous help along the way. Maybe it was a little money that helped with tuition and maybe rent, or babysitting so you could catch up on some needed sleep, or just some good old plain moral support. So I'll speak on behalf of the graduates and say to the extended family of everyone here, thank you including my own family who's here. Graduates. But graduates, tonight is all about you. In just a few minutes, you will walk across the stage and receive a piece of paper that acknowledges that you have completed your studies whether you're receiving a bachelor's degree, an associate degree, or a certificate of proficiency. Tonight marks the end of a wonderful journey. When I asked several of the graduates what they were going to do after graduation, and uh, Jim and Harriet, uh, I'm not sure who it was, whether it was Sheena, Kevin, Kathy, or Alice. Maybe it was Alice or one of the other students. But someone said to me, I'm going to turn off the alarm. Another said, I'm going to take a vacation. And another said they were going to spend time with family and children. Another said, look, I'm just going to take a break. And Rita, I am not sure if it was Betty, Arlene, or Norman who said they would do some volunteer work, start a career, or go back to school. 
But whether you plan to take a break or ready to be a little bit more ambitious, you are ending a chapter tonight. And as Caitlin said, you are getting ready for a new beginning. I've had a wonderful career. If you'd asked me when I was in my teens what I would do and become, I would have said a teacher because that was my career path in college. But to be honest, I was not really sure what I wanted to be. I did know early on that I liked hanging outside, talking with people, and getting involved. I had ideas, and as my mother would say, a ton of opinions. I wanted to be in the thick of things. Student government, majorette, in college, black student union, sorority, school paper, and other student activities. As a young adult, registering people to vote, getting people elected to office. I was involved, I was engaged, I was making things happen. I landed a great job working for a legislator. I had an opportunity in my 20s to help people with their problems, and I also started supervising staff members. I went on to work in city council, crafting legislation. And in my 30s, I became chief of staff to a state senator. In my 40s, I landed my first private sector job working for Mercy Health System, connecting government, business, and communities to bring about change. All were extremely rewarding, and I learned a lot. Yet I was still not sure who I was or what I wanted to be. A friend of mine who was a daytime television fan had a saying that played in my head from time to time. Make sure that you are not sitting by the edge of night, holding the guiding light, searching for tomorrow, wishing you were young and restless. If you are not careful, all tied up in General Hospital, saying those were the days of my life. One day, I was invited to serve on the board of a local community organization, the Black United Fund, a group raising money to distribute to good causes in the African American community. After that, I volunteered to serve on other boards and was elected board chair on several. I finally understood my calling, helping people by building organizations. They are so critical to driving sustained change in communities, and grassroots organizations tackle problems in a very unique way. Yet building community organizations is hard work. You need to raise money. You have to have great board members and volunteers. You must have a clear vision and mission. You must attract great employees who are talented and competent and believe they are the change they are looking for. I remember the day, honestly, like it was yesterday, that it all became clear to me. I was sitting in my office at Mercy Health System, and on the cover of a Philadelphia magazine, I saw the faces of three women who were leading very important organizations, and I said, maybe I will have the opportunity to do the same one day. And that day came 15 years ago, when I was chosen to lead one of the most important civic and community organizations in Philadelphia. Recently, the Philadelphia Business Journal interviewed me. They asked me what kept me excited about my work. I said, first, I stay curious. Even today, I know I don't know everything. I still have much to learn. I'm still trying to get the Twitter thing right. I stay engaged. I still volunteer to serve on boards and mentor new leaders. Staying involved with other people and groups helps me understand the needs of the community, and I am passionate about my work. As challenging as it is, I care about our communities and most importantly, the people who live in them, who just happen to be unlucky enough to not have all they need to be successful. As Pharrell Williams might say, this work really makes me happy, curious, engaged, and passionate. So I say to you, Pierce graduates of 2014, 
Have you found your calling? Are you ready for an exciting new beginning? The late Dr. Maya Angelou said of her life, my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive and to do it with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. Class of 2014, get ready to start your new beginning. Congratulations to you all. Good evening. Once again, we say good evening a lot, don't we? <laughs> good evening. I'm Katie Thoreau, Chairman of the Pierce College Board of Trustees, and it's my honor and pleasure to confer the honorary degree, a Doctorate of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa, to our 149th Commencement Ceremony keynote speaker, Ms. Charmaine Matlock Turner. Good evening. I am Dr. Brian Finnegan, Associate Professor and Assistant Dean, Information Technology and General Education, and the 2013 Hamilton Award recipient. I have the honor, the distinct honor, this evening of announcing the 2014 Hamilton Award recipient. Each year, the college takes this opportunity to recognize a faculty member or academic administrator who exemplifies academic excellence and integrity. The Hamilton family created an endowment that funds the award. It is named for Dr. William J. Hamilton, former vice president and dean of Pierce College. Dr. Hamilton helped build the strong reputation of the college during his many years of service to Pierce. A committee of peers at the college selects the awardee each year. A member of the Pierce College faculty since 2010, our 2014 Hamilton Award recipient, has contributed to the advancement of the college as a highly effective academic administrator and as a member of the faculty. Our Hamilton Award recipient epitomizes academic excellence and integrity. She is known for her effective and creative instructional practices, passion for advising and supporting students, and commitment to her profession. Her openness to finding new ways to advance academic programs and peer students is commendable and remarkable. She is known as a highly dedicated professional who is active in local, regional, and national professional associations. Her transformational leadership style and dedication to helping students makes her an ideal candidate for this award. I am honored to announce our 2014 Hamilton Award recipient, Stephanie Donovan. So let me tell you a little about Stephanie. So Stephanie Donovan is Assistant Professor and Faculty Chair, Health Programs. She holds a BHS from Gwynedd Mercy College and an MBA from LaSalle University. 
She's outstanding in the classroom, receives continuous accolades from students, faculty, and staff alike. Some of her achievements include securing KHIM accreditation for the Associate in Science in Health Information Technology program, developing and implementing the Medical Coding Certificate program, and securing funding from the Connolly Foundation for integration of a learning lab software that provides students real life experiences within healthcare administration and health information technology courses. Stephanie Donovan, please come a little bit more forward and be recognized <laughs> as our 2014 Hamilton Award recipient. Thanks very much. It is an incredible honor to um, receive this award. Um, I'll just take 30 seconds because this is your night. I did not go to college to be an educator. When I graduated with my undergraduate degree, my dream was to work in a hospital as a healthcare administrator. Um, higher education was a detour. It wasn't part of my plan, but it's been a detour that has brought me tremendous joy and uh, has been a blessing and has uh, really inspired me to live my life with purpose. Uh, my wish for you, graduating class, is that you openly welcome the detours and you live every day with purpose. Pierce College is especially privileged to honor members of the graduating class who have distinguished themselves in their chosen fields of study and who have earned recognition from national, regional, and local professional organizations. We will now present the special awards in the order in which they appear in your program, beginning with the Alumni Association Raymond L. Poser Class of 52 Academic Leadership Award. Steve Wirtz, Class of 2008, and President of the Alumni Association, joins us this evening to present the award. Good evening. <laughs> Congratulations, Class of 2014. You are now the newest part of Pierce College's long and vibrant history. Pierce graduates formed the Alumni Association in 1892 to aid and support their alma mater. Six years later, in 1898, the Alumni Association presented its first awards to the outstanding graduates. It is my pleasure, as president of the Alumni Association, to continue that tradition this evening. Recipients of the Raymond L. Pauser Alumni Association Academic Leadership Award are selected based on academic performance and participation in social and community service organizations. This year, the Academic Leadership Award will be pre presented to three graduates. Kathy Arnold. Yay! Norman Watford. and Alice Yellick. <laughs> On behalf of the Alumni Association, it is a great pleasure for me to present each of you with a plaque and a check in recognition of your outstanding career at Pierce College. Congratulations. It is with great pleasure and humility in which I receive the honor of this award. I thank every individual of the Pierce family who thought of me to be chosen 
as the recipient this year, words cannot express my gratitude and gratefulness and appreciation for this privilege. My entire experience at Pierce has been special and priceless. I can't put a price tag on the people that I've had the opportunity to meet and to work alongside. The knowledge that I've gained in my field of study and my personal and professional development. However, I know that I cannot take sole credit for my academic accomplishments. In the receipt of all these awards this evening, my achievements are obtained with much prayer, sacrifice, support, and love. I am exceedingly grateful for my entire support system, those unable to attend, those who are present tonight, who I absolutely share my success with. Family that are present, I thank you so much for coming and celebrating this memorable moment in my life. Your love and support mean the world to me. And with all my heart, I love you. <laughs> Hello everyone. Alice, commencement day has finally arrived. These are the words my husband said to me when he came in from work this morning at 8.30. And he is as excited as all of us here today. I was a little nervous and so my excitement was tempered. It's been a long time since I've donned a cap and gown, as you know. But I want to thank my family and friends who are here today, some seated in row W of the uh, orchestra section and others up in section C of tier one. Thank you for coming and still giving me your love and support. I also want to thank the Pierce family of administrators, professors, staff, faculty for guiding me on this journey. And I also offer a special thank you to the members of the Raymond Pauls Award Committee for choosing me to receive this Academic Leadership Award and for also recognizing that I too am a phenomenal woman. I thank you for this honor and to each of you who helped me along the way to make this long-held dream of mine finally come true. I'm going to keep it real brief. I just want to thank my family and friends for the love and support. Thank you. Good evening. I am Dr. Leola Bennett, Professor of Accounting. I am pleased to present this year's Pennsylvania Institute of Certified Public Accountants Award for Excellence in Accounting to Kathy Wendy Arnold. <laughs> Kathy, please come forward. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Bennett. It is truly a blessing to receive the Pennsylvania Institute of Certified Public Accountants Award. I sincerely appreciate being selected for this special award and thank each and every member of my Pierce family that was involved in the selection process. During the past six years there has brought me to this moment tonight, my college education has been a collaborative effort. Time will not allow me to say individual names, but I will start at the top with our remarkable presidents, all my professors, and the Pierce faculty and staff in their respective roles. Thank you for your superb and consistent nurturing support, excellence of personable services, and understanding of the challenges of the adult college student. Last but not least, I acknowledge all of my friends and any acquaintances with which I have developed relationships with here at Pierce College encouraged you, inspired you, motivated you, or simply allowed me to just say a hello, a smile, or a few words of wisdom during our journey. Thank you.
Good evening. I am Agina Nora Dean Little, the Assistant Dean of Student Support Services. I am proud this evening to present the Walker Center Award for Academic Achievement and Participation in the Center's Activities to Kathy Wendy Arnold. Kathy. Thank you, Regina. I am tremendously grateful to have been selected <laughs> for the Walker Center of Academic Excellence Scholarship Award. I thank everyone involved in the review and selection process at Pierce and the entire Walker Center staff, Regina, Ellen, my awesome academic advisor, Kareem, Merle, Marisa, Sebastian, Natalie, and Diana for being so awesome, helpful, and supportive always. Special thanks to my dear friend and Pierce alum, I believe she had to leave early, but the re-award for being my inspiration, my essay editor, and an overall reliable support throughout my academic journey. I also thank my friend and sister Katrina for her listening ear and advice. Many thanks to my son, Christopher, and my mom, who, since they both lived with me, therefore by default had no other choice but to read all my <laughs> essays and papers. Thank you so much. For enduring the turbulent airways, I thank my long distance supporter and cheerleader, my niece, Roshan, who also decorated my cap. And a gigantic thanks to her father, my brother, and personal professional photographer, although I haven't seen it in flash for a second, <laughs> Robert, who traveled across the highways to be here this evening. I appreciate you all for being here. All of my family that I didn't name, thank you all for coming and for your support. I am now pleased to present the 2014 Outstanding Student Award for Academic Excellence to Betty Brady. Betty, please come forward. Hello, everyone. Um, I just want to thank all of my family and friends for helping me with my first experience in college and just being there for me in my support system. And I wanna give a special dedication to my brother, Mark Brady, who passed away last year. He passed away in July of 2012. And I wanna tell my baby, Kayla, in the audience that mommy loves you and thank you for understanding and being supportive of me through everything. Good evening, I'm Robin Edelstein, Professor of General Education. I am proud to present the 2014 Margaret Abosian Excellence in Writing Award. This award is presented to a graduating senior in any major who exhibits through completion of one of the qualifying writing projects, Distinguishing Excellence in Writing Outcomes. This year's award goes to Arlene Cooper. Arlene, please come forward. Thank you very much. I don't have a speech prepared, but I just would like to thank my family for their tremendous encouragement and support for the past four and a half years. I'd also like to thank professors in the legal program, paralegal studies, um, for their encouragement and their words to wisdom that would just, you know, instill the drive in me to do the best that I can. Um, I'm very grateful. Thank you. to report that many students in the class of 2014 have earned academic honors through their hard work and dedication. Academic honors will be read with the candidates' names. We will now begin the roll call of candidates. 
Every candidate's name will be read, and the graduates will appear on the digital screens as they are receiving their diploma. Candidates are also invited to have their photograph taken with our keynote speaker, Dr. Charmaine Matlock-Turner. Okay. Me? Hey, hello everyone. I am Dr. Michael Shermer, Assistant Professor and Faculty Chair of Business, and I am proud to conduct the roll call of our accounting candidates. <laughs> President Mergiati, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of accounting candidates, those present collectively and individually together with others in absentia, have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree. The Bachelor of Science candidates for accounting are Cedric Ginyard. <laughs> Emisha Hamut, magna cum laude. Laverne Allen. <laughs> Shanina Kalia Bullock. Brandy Lucinda Kirkland. Keith Thomas Carney. Rhonda Harris. Summa Cum Laude. Monique McCullough. Nicole Franks, Cum Laude. Christine Bergmark, Summa Cum Laude. Patrick Sean Young. Denise Reynolds. Kathy Wendy Arnold, magna cum laude. I am now also pleased to conduct the roll call of business administration candidates. President Mergiati, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of business administration candidates those present collectively and individually, together with others in absentia, have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree, Associate in Science degree, or Certificate of Proficiency. The Bachelor of Science candidates for Business Administration are Gregory Harris, Phyllis Chase, cum laude. Janice Morita Gray. Lorna J. Jones. Quanda R. Smith. Lori A. Brown. Jason Yeo Lei. Michael Christopher Gilfillian. Brent D. Collinson, summa cum laude. Robin Smith. Christina Marie Diveny. Amy E. Trahey. Victor Joseph Spaulding. Florence Mathis, cum laude. Alexis C. Peterson. 
Sharquita A. Edney. Nona Marie Smith. Kim Elaine Betty Be Betty Buchanan. Denise L. Givens, magna cum laude. Arlene M. Chappelle Townsend. Samantha D. Mahoney. This? Natasha Tamara Williams, cum laude. Okay. Anthony Williams, Jr. Yana Lynette Pruitt. Tamara V. Flagg. Anya Marie Williams, cum laude. Kevin Jordan. Frederick S. Cohen. Craig Key. Alice R. Yellick, cum laude. Ray D. Goldsboro. Kevin C. Drayton. Magna cum laude. Angela Churchill Kegler. George F. Courtney. Tracy D. Brister. Janet Melendez. Juliet A. Walters. Rita Michaels. Barnell Neville. Elijah M. LaPrince, Sr. Magna Cum Laude. Woodland Dorson. Esme V. De Silva. Sherelle Olivia Harwell. Kim Marie, Kim, Kim Marie Danielowicz. Summa cum laude. Erica Maria Butte. Antar T. Bush. Sheree Austin, magna cum laude. Cheryl Y. Smith. Lisa Lynette Ravenel. Kristen Sierra Wagstaff Steward. Matthew Anthony Geiger, cum laude. Tamara Jacqueline Hawkins. Keisha Winetta Hilliard. Sharde Zena Rouse. Cynthia Fitchett Nilsson, cum laude. 
Russell A. Sanderlin, summa cum laude. John Crims, cum laude. Sharita Rosa Ospina. Joy Osegi, cum laude. Kathleen T. Conlin, cum laude. Cheryl Ann O'Neill. Carl Eric J. Bulin. Sherry Akila Harrison. Jonathan. Jonathan D. Lawson. Melanie L. Peoples. Jasmine Tamika Daniels Pugh. Keane Williams. Rodney R. Martin. Clarissa T. Flood. Kenneth Davis. Lady Ann Hollins. The Associate in Science candidates for Business Administration are Latoya R. McDonald. Irma L. Gonzalez Bowie. Rashawn Glenn. Naya N. Hatchet, cum laude. Adrol Adrian Isaac. Keonia Murph. Jakia S. Moses. Coley Hill. Tracy Coley Hill. Misha D. Campbell. Tara Desiree Singleton. I think we're backing up. We got to pause for station identification. Okay. Nefertina Serrano. Sandy Ellis Johnson. Sharon Thorpe. Vincent Bullock. Tamika Michelle Taylor. Thank you. Velvia T. Gary. Enrica Maria Wilder. Thank you. Mary Ann Patricia Torres.
Jaylene Brister, magna cum laude. Janae Tamil Tamel Campbell. Venus C. Daniels. Lakeisha Shantae Hunter. Backing up again. Milagro Flores Martinez. Stacy M. Hardy Thorpe. Leona Francine Catlett. Deborah Eileen Washington. Marquita Marie Hampton. Vonda L. Benson. Lynette Nicole Trawick. Dietra Massey. Asia Shanique Parks. Sharonda Lauren Crawford. Anthony Ricardo King. Terrence E. Green. Katrina LeBlanc. Crystal Sharnika Brown. Good evening. I'm Kristen Irie, Assistant Professor and Program Manager of Human Resource Management and I am pleased to conduct the roll call of Human Resource Management candidates for graduation, our inaugural class. Yeah. <sighs> President Mergiati, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of Human Resource Management candidates. Those present, collectively and individually, together with others in absentia, have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree. To begin, I would like to invite Corporal Paul Robinson, United States Marine Corps, to the stage to present the Bachelor of Science degree. <laughs> the Bachelor of Science degree in Human Resource Management to his mother, Tondale Robinson, cum laude. Tiffany Lorraine Williams. <laughs> Terriel Brooks. And 
Ursula Days. I am Stephanie Donovan, Assistant Professor and Faculty Chair, Health Programs. I am pleased this evening to call the role of Healthcare Administration candidates for graduation. President Mergiati, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of Healthcare Administration degree candidates. Those present collectively and individually, together with others in absentia, have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree. The Bachelor of Science degree candidates for healthcare administration are <laughs> Sheena Goodman, <laughs> Caitlin Cease, <laughs> Alicia Renee Blair, <laughs> Shandell Finola Craig. Misty Yarborough. I am also pleased this evening to call the role of health information technology candidates for graduation. President Mergiati, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of health information technology degree candidates those present collectively and individually, together with others in absentia, have met all of the requirements for the Associate in Science degree. The Associate in Science degree candidates for Health Information Technology are Takia Desta Burns. Welcome. Rashida Washington. Teresa Phillips. Thank you. Nalita Otero. I am Dr. Brian Finnegan, Associate Professor and Assistant Dean, Information Technology and General Education. I'm pleased this evening to call the role of information technology candidates for graduation. President Mergiati, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of information technology degree candidates. Those present collectively and individually, together with others in absentia, have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree, Associate in Science degree, or the Certificate of Proficiency. And the Bachelor of Science candidates for information technology are Mitchell Lee Walk. Congratulations. <laughs> Kenneth H. DeWitt, summa cum laude. Congratulations, Kenneth. <laughs> Miriam Cardona. Evan Daniel Truitt, magna cum laude. <laughs> Naomi T. Hall, magna cum laude. <laughs> Rochelle Williamson, cum laude. <laughs> Timothy J. Wright. William Talbot, magna cum laude. Brett M. Hammond, summa cum laude. Georgette M. Nasser Rye, magna cum laude. Tanya R. Carew. James H. Thompson. Don M. Adams, cum laude.
Christopher M. Pendleton. Deanna Felicia Casillas. Kenneth Burns. Ashley Marie Tarlowski, summa cum laude. Lania T. Lockwood. And the Associate in Science and Certificate of Proficiency candidates for information technology are, is. <laughs> Rose M. Williams. I'm pleased this evening to call the role of general studies candidates for graduation. President Mergiati, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of general studies degree candidates. Those present, collectively and individually, together with others in absentia, have met all the requirements for the Associate in Arts degree. And the Associate in Arts candidates for general studies are Cheryl D. Holmes. Medea Brooks. Donna L. Patterson. Dolores A. Jones. Alexander Warwick. Aliyah McFadden. Good evening. I'm Ed Miller, Professor and Assistant Dean Legal Studies, and I am delighted to call the role of Paralegal Studies candidates for graduation. <laughs> President Mergiotti, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of Paralegal Studies degree candidates. Those present collectively and individually, together with others in absentia, have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree, Associate in Science degree, or the post bachelor Certificate of Proficiency. The Bachelor of Science candidates for paralegal studies are Naisha Jones Foster, Barry V. Williams, Catherine Lee Salvatera, Ashley, My Ashley Mathias. Teresa Benoit. <laughs> Caitlin Riley. Chantel T. Williams. Arturo E. Cruz. Lauren Melissa Maternia. Renee Burris. Christina Janda. Sonia Yvette Alacock. Jenny Barakal, cum laude. Angela Moya. Andrea Cooper. Sarah Lynn Johnston, summa cum laude. Veronica Denise Brown.
Kim Jardine. Diana Russell. Mark Denunzio, sumo cum laude. Arlene Cooper, sumo cum laude. The associate in science candidates for paralegal studies are Sandra Lewis. Kim Yvette Brand. Sierra Lashane Ford. Razelle Hadley. Bernadette Lindsay Brown. Latoya Monique Finney. Sharon Eskridge. <laughs> Diana Dolores Kirkland, magna cum laude. <laughs> Petian D. Dave Evans. Therese Bridget Alford, cum laude. <laughs> Avery Maria Jade Williams. <laughs> Sheila Danielle Goldsboro. Alana Payson. Michelle Marie Long. Jacqueline Santiago. Carrie Napoleon. The post bachelor certificate of proficiency candidates for paralegal studies are Rashika Nicole Serenity, Amanda Starling, Wait a minute. Deborah, Dara Deborah Hackett. Karima Florence Coles. Jacqueline Bernice Jones. Gail Michelle O'Donnell. Good evening, I'm Robert Brzezinczak. I'm the Associate Professor for Criminal Justice and Program Manager. Uh, I am delighted to call the Criminal Justice students, candidates for graduation, our first inaugural class, President Mergiati. I have the honor in, of recommending to you the following list of Criminal Justice Studies degree candidates, those present collectively and individually together with others in absentia have met all the requirements for the Associate in Science degree. The Associate of Science candidates for Criminal Justice Studies are Norman Watford, <laughs> Betty Laverne Brady, Michelle Reynolds, Kenyatta Westcott, Annalise Jade Dennis,
As president of Pierce College, I have the honor this evening of conferring degrees on our graduates. Candidates, please stand. <laughs> Candidates on stage, please come to the podium and stand with me. All right, all right, there's some power here. There's some power. Are you ready? You guys ready for this? You sure? Yeah. Okay, here we go. By the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Board of Trustees of Pierce College, I officially recognize and confer the Bachelor of Science degree, the Associate in Science degree, the Associate in Arts degree, or the Certificate of Proficiency on you as graduates of Pierce College, class of 2014. In recognition, move your tassels from right to left. I don't know. I don't know. It's awful quiet in here. Too quiet. All right. Great job, great job, class. I am very pleased, I am very pleased to call upon Mr. Steve Wirtz, class of 2008 and president of the Pierce College Alumni Association to formally induct the class of 2014 into the Alumni Association, Steve. Wow, how do I follow that? Come on, stand up, let's hear it, come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're, we're almost done. I'm here to officially welcome you to the Pierce College Alumni Association. As president of the association, I ask you to stay in touch with the college, and I pledge that we will work to help you keep close ties to each other individually and to the Pierce alumni community as a whole. We welcome our associate graduates to continue towards your bachelor's degree and our bachelor's graduates to apply for our new master's program. It is indeed an honor to induct each of you as members in good standing into the Pierce College Alumni Association. Congratulations and best of luck. Thank you. <laughs> On behalf of Dr. Charmaine Matlock Turner, the trustees, faculty, staff, and administration of Pierce College, I extend congratulations to the class of 2014 on this historic evening. Family and friends, kindly remain at your seats until the graduates have exited. Graduates, enjoy the sounds of happy as you proceed out of the hall. The ceremonies are officially ended. Congratulations. <laughs>